Is neurofeedback therapy helpful for dyslexia and learning disabilities? Imagine, if you will, a young child standing before their classmates, trembling inside, feeling stupid and deficient. They're struggling not only with the fact that they don't know the answer to the question or understand the concept being discussed, but with the inferior feelings that grow more intense each time the teacher puts their ignorance on public display. I'd love to be able to tell you that this was an antiquated example, one that used to happen each day in classrooms from coast to coast. However, this is a pretty good description of what many bright young men and women face on a daily basis. Here's how Robert Benson put it. He said, I was dyslexic before anybody knew what dyslexia was. I was called slow. It's an awful feeling to think of yourself as slow. It's horrible. The brain of a child with learning disabilities is like a truck that is stuck in low gear and a driver that has forgotten that higher gears even exist. It is exasperating to trudge from point A to point B in a grindingly slow forward crawl while other vehicles are effortlessly passing you by. The driver never once considers that their truck could keep up with the others on the road if they restored its ability to shift into higher gears. Instead, they beat themselves up for not being able to go as fast as the others, convinced they are already operating at their full potential. Neurofeedback is a tool that says, look, there are other gears that you can use. The first step is realizing that there are other gears or brain waves available to you. Then it's a simple matter of conditioning your brain to choose the, to enter those brain waves at the appropriate times. In 1985, a study was published after using neurofeedback for learning disorders. Researchers were startled by what they discovered. IQ scores in these children improved. There was an average increase of 19 points on the Weschler full-scale IQ test. 19-point improvement. In no way am I suggesting that all of those with learning disabilities will increase their IQ using neurofeedback. However, I'm not suggesting that they won't either. My hunch is that even further jumps in IQ will eventually be seen using this wonderful tool for introducing people to their true potential. Would you like to know more about the amazing world of neurofeedback? Go to neurofeedbackbook.com. My name is Dr. Claire Albright. I'm a psychologist and the author of a 168-page book called Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback. I can be reached at 949-454-0996. Go to neurofeedbackbook.com where you can download the PDF ebook version of my book for only $7.99.